showing me love and the kids coming up showing me love. That took my thoughts to a whole nother dimension at that time of my life. And so naturally I came back here and was like, McDonald's, cheesesteaks, uh, wasn't the same no more. You know what I'm saying? So the reason why I'm giving y'all Lila Africa is because, you know, I did an apprenticeship with him. He's a, a physician. I did an apprenticeship with him. And we worked on a cancer patient together. And working with this man, I, I learned a whole lot about, about just the science of the body and how food and things we need to come in contact with affect the body. And the Rossas talk about this a lot because a lot of them live amongst the land. You know, so they're not really too much into commercialized products. And that's where a lot of misconceptions, facts, and your own personal experience, that's where that formula comes in at, when you start learning how to eat properly. It's not about somebody saying, you gotta eat this, you can't eat that. You just gotta know yourself. And you gotta stop tearing into yourself with somebody else's culture and philosophy, and that's what the Rossas really push forward in terms of eating habits. Queen of Fua is another. Queen of Fua. A-F-U-A, another one that inspired me in terms of understanding alternative, alternatives to uh, what I was taught to eat. Now, the reason why I put this up, until the philosophy which hold one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned everywhere is war, that until there are no longer first class and second class citizens of any nations until the color of a man's skin is no more significant than the color of his eyes, there is war, that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race. War, until the day the dream of lasting peace, world citizenship, rule of international morality will be mainly but a fleeting illusion to be pursued and never attained, there is war. This is a speech that was written by His Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie and Rastafari that was turned into a song later on by Bob Marley. In a, in the United Nations, you got what's called the Declaration of the Human Rights. And this is where His Majesty traveled the land, you know, working to effectively implement into our lives before we was even born and thought of. See, that's a power. That's where understanding who he was come in at. Because before you was even named, he was already on a mission to make sure to see to it that you have what you have, need to have. Some of those things you don't even have. We don't have time to get into the whole Declaration of Human Rights. But please write that down. And please do look it up. Because that's the one thing that His Majesty and Malcolm X had in common. You see, there were commonalities between all of the people that forward this type of movement. Now, <clears throat> some formal facts. 1892 to 1975, crowned in 1930. His wife's name was Empress Menon. These are just formalities, important information. Now, my brother Black Fire here, my brother Black Fire is a spoken word artist, so I figured I would bring in a little treat just in terms of somebody on a personal level that inspires me when I come in contact with him and reminds me of the subtleties of the movement. So we try not to get too caught up in the decoration. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something that has to exist within your heart. Regardless of what you call it, whether you call it Christianity, Rastafari, you move forward with it in terms of being sincere with what's in your heart. Then you're not only living up to the definition of what Emperor Haile Selassie talked about, but also what Marcus Garvey talked about, what Malcolm X talked about, what Martin Luther King talked about. You know, they say that W.E.B. Du Bois, for example, all these people existed around the same time era, mixed in the same pot of stew. Elijah Muhammad, all these people. They say Elijah Muhammad was part of the Marcus Garvey movement. You know what I mean? They say W.E.B. Du Bois and Marcus Garvey had issues. Part of the reason I had, see, I listen to the oracles, not just read the books, because the books are partial. But you listen to the oracles that are passed down, you learn a lot. So they say that, they say that uh, Marcus Garvey and W.E.B. Du Bois had issues, because like I said, they say Marcus visited the clan and got donations from them. Like, yo, you want us up out of here? We'll leave. We'll leave. Give us some help towards these boats so we can get up out of here. You know? And so, 
they say W.E.B. Du Bois was commissioned to, now this is the oracle, you got to do your own personal research, but I'm telling you what comes down to the word and mouth of the people. They say W.E.B. Du Bois was commissioned to bring forth things like sorority, uh, Greek sororities and fraternities and things like that. They kind of move the minds of the people in a different direction other than an African oriented direction. And so when I study the roster man, he kind of moves things over in this direction. And so sometimes he appears a little bit extreme in doing so because he's like, yo, for better or for worse, I'm not going that way, I'm going this way. I'm not trying to drink your water, I'm not trying to breathe your air, I'm not trying to eat your food, I'm not trying to make babies with you. I want to get back to the heart and the soul of who I am. And that's what the roster man means to me. So Black Five, before we move, any questions and questions, answers, things of that nature, before we uh Oh, I didn't catch one thing. I know you said it was Pastor um, Ray Hagens or Shaka Musa Bereshenko. Okay, Pastor Ray I had some more information for y'all to look up to. There are a couple of good movies. Um, one is called Rockers. <laughs> it's an interesting movie. You know, directed by a Caucasian, but he caught a lot of good scenery in terms of having filmed the whole movie in Jamaica. Another good one that catches some good scenery is a movie called Countryman. And then, naturally, there are musicians. These are the oracles that I tell you about, like the Whalers, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh. It's important to study their lives because they started out clean cut with bow ties on, and they got touched by the movement. They started growing their hair in the dreadlocks. People are like, why they grow their hair in the dreadlocks? Because once you realize that you've been swindled your whole life, that you gotta wear this certain image in order to, you gotta sign this and do this, and they run out, they, they get tired of that. They, it's, a, it's a rebellious thing that, that surfaces. And so this whole thing called the dreadlock, that's why they call it the dreadlock, because it was supposed to be those who the dreaded, those who the rejected. So when you're rejected, you take a whole nother position, like I come and take this. So that's what the attitude becomes. Buju Bantan, Phantom Moja, Richie Spice, Muta Baruka. These are different musicians you can check out. You know what I mean? Different world. So I'm going to pass it over to my man, Black Fire. You know what I mean? How you feeling? Excellent. I am I know a place where the water is running deep. I and I know a place where the iron shoes. I think it's a crime not knowing where to stand should I feel acquitted. In the absence of dry land, I'm down the top of the dead. When I walk on water, when I cry and fail, let I whisper be the wind and watch our hearts set sail. If you can see I, then you know where I stand. If you can touch I, then you know who I am. So meet I the place where the water is. Run deep. I join the eye at that place where the ancients speak. Can't you hear the whispers in the morning air? Feel the courage rise higher than the fear. And listen for a language that your feet now know. I guarantee you'll hear ancient whispers telling you where to go grow. Every wave has its valley. Every crest. Below that wave here at Clark's is where the iron sheets sleep. And somewhere high above that crest is where our whispers did meet. And you'll see I and I, black fire, walking on water in the absence of fear, proud in the lion's pride, brought I and I.
Why is it that you don't have to put honey in the refrigerator? It doesn't spoil it. So don't let them spoil you here. The places that you make them, you might the water with a match. The fire rides the top of the water. And it's minerals coming up out of it. If the water doesn't burn, it moves out of your way. This exists. The plants in Jamaica are called a beautiful pipe. I don't need Genesis to tell me about what you do, but every ailment that you have, that plant is good. Jamaica, Jamaica, is only an hour and a half away from you, playing rock. You see, a little piece of Africa, like the most I sent over there, it's a new one, go through. I'm not going to multiply words, you know. Just check your own soul and see if you're satisfied to see limited sunrise, grief done to the morning child. Born of scorn for the dormant eyes, and failed to see past the passion of lonely dust. Forgot to trust the intuition of battered wives, and sacrificed sacred lives, and twisted separation into idolatry. This is an institution that can facilitate learning, but it cannot put knowledge inside of your brain. Graduated from Columbia Union College with a bachelor's degree in biology and biochemistry, and published a paper in malaria at Johns Hopkins University. I got a full scholarship. Medical School at Wright State University. And the statistics last the man told me after he interviewed a thousand people, he understands why black people have a particular disease across the whole of America. Our disease in America is that we're not from here. That gives us a dis-ease. It makes us feel uncomfortable. Indians, they line up with the land and part of the earth. Chinese, China, see it, Japanese, Japan. Where are you from? I'm not saying don't buy your big house here. You blame the guy, your Hummer over here. I'm just saying you move. Buy your flag beside the American. Check me out on YouTube.com for it's actually not See my journey where it's right now. I'm going to leave for medical school. Not only for knowledge. Run the circle around and pick up some more that Latin. <laughs> you see, right now I'm into the what died that and not in my death. And the world over there, and he got me to talk English for six months. I'm off in the earth and I'm off in See, you don't have to leave the antiquity to be modern. You got your straight hand, it looks beautiful. I'm not dissing, I'm not one of those rusts. You got options, the person's out there, also got your roots. You see? Find out what shines out of you and your diamond comes out of you. Well, thanks for listening. Because there were, there were disagreements amongst them, 